everybody, I'm back with another video. Now, in today's video, guys, I'm going to be talking about my, uh, these two characters in, uh, um, I'm going to be talking about, <laughs> I shouldn't even say it that way, um, Iron Man versus Batman. Um, both characters from different, um, parts of kind of the superhero universes, uh, one in DC and one in Marvel, which I generally think Marvel had more of a big hit than DC. Um, making the Justice League movie really didn't work at all. Um, it didn't turn out very good. But I'm really curious to see the Aquaman movie. That really, really looks nice. But the reason why I chose this particular battle is because they're two both similar uh, characters um, that don't have any superhero, super powers, but are still, like, really, really powerful. Um, so they're both, like, billionaires and make very, very good, um, technology, um, suits and stuff like that. So I'm gonna be talking about who would win a battle between this, because I thought it would be pretty interesting, uh, just seeing a battle in, like, the comics for this, even though they're not in the same universe. Um, but let's start out with the originality, kind of, of these two. Um, so the origin of Batman was that his parents were killed when he was a kid. Um, I think, like, Cold Blood murdered. And, um, his father, I think, actually made an own industry, just kind of like Iron Man did. Um, and I'm not sure what it was called. I think, it was like... I'm not, I can't remember, because I'm not a huge fan of Batman and do not know a whole lot about him, but uh, it kind of played out as that, and Batman tends to hide his identity more than Iron Man does. Uh, he has his own Batcave, and he does have some assistance. He has his butler, uh, which is, man, I can't remember. It started with an A. <laughs> Um, and he also has Robin, and he has two agents, I believe, because I do watch the 60s version. I did watch, like, all of that, and it's actually really, really good. Um, and then Iron Man, his parents got died in a car crash, and his dad also had an industry called Stark Industries. And he, his dad made tapes for his kid, and you saw this in Iron Man 2, and he told them to kind of bring back Stark Industries, and he told them to make it better. And that's what he did. He kind of continued on from what his dad did, and I think he did a lot better than his dad. Stark Industries was originally supposed to be, um, like, defenses for the U.S., but then he turned it into his own kind of thing. Uh, so in the first one, he did get captured, uh, but he did get a new core, and then he also made an own element. So let's talk about um, the intelligence of these two. Both of them are really, really smart, and I'm telling you, uh, they are. Um, number one, Batman knows over 24 different martial arts, which sounds like all the martial arts um, already. Um so, our, I mean, Batman definitely knows how to do a hand-to-hand -hand fight um, with someone. Um, and he does know how to make really get great suits. Uh, but I don't think that he can uh, potentially make better suits than Iron Man can. Um, but Iron Man uh, can make incredibly uh, great suits. Uh, Batman has made bulletproof, uh, things, almost anything you can think of. Iron Man's really only made, uh, his suits, but Batman's made, uh, vehicles, um, pretty much anything you can think of, batarangs, anything. And they're really cool gadgets, I would say. Um, Iron Man's only made his suits, but his suits are very, very great, and I'll talk about them in the next section. Um... But if you really think about it, it's almost clearly impossible to make one of Iron Man's suits because it would take so much fuel just to make uh, the thrusters. Just think about how much technology you have to make Iron Man's suit. You'd almost be using up anything. Um, so I think it's almost impossible to make what Iron Man can make. He's in fact also has made an element in Iron Man 2 and... Um, I think I'm going to edit in pictures to this. I might. 
Uh, but he has created a new element, and Jarvis, I believe Jarvis said that in Iron Man 2. He's like, congratulations, you have made a new element um, when making his new uh, core. Which his new core was a lot better than his old one. I think it's just a lot more power powerful with his energy blast. Um, but as far as who's more intelligent, I can't say that because uh, both of them are really, really smart. I'd say that uh, Batman is better with hand-to-hand -hand combat. Uh, but Iron Man wouldn't be really good with just some regular fist fight. Um, he's really nothing without his suit. But he, even if he's nothing without his suit, he can't really take away his suit because his suit is uh, his core. And without that, he couldn't live. He is pretty much cyborg. Um, and, he, like, I, he's with his suit almost all the time. And he can make the, like most impossible things like infinite infinity war um he made a nanotech suit that literally came out from his core and his glasses uh which i thought was really cool like he like his um sweater he pulled them and then he tapped his thing and then he took off his glasses i think that was really really cool uh but let's talk about gear and gadgets I would definitely already be saying Iron Man because, honestly, Iron Man's suit is way, way, way more uh, powerful than um, Batman's. It just can take a lot more damage. Uh, Batman has a lot of gadgets, but it seems that in every new Iron Man movie, or at least when Iron Man is introduced to a new Marvel movie, you get to see a new, even more powerful suit. Rather than in Batman, you don't really get a big difference because Batman kind of had his own show and all. But you don't really see new much of new gadgets from Batman all the time. He's mostly just fighting uh, people. So I definitely say Batman could do a hand-to-hand -hand fight with Iron Man and if he didn't have a suit. But it's almost useless for Batman because Iron Man will always have his suit on. But as it goes for Iron Man... His suit is literally meant to fight gods. I'm talking Thor has used Mirgard to take a hit on Iron Man's suit. And all it really does is give more energy to his suit. I'm not saying his suit could last forever uh, with a lightning strike on him. But it can potentially bring him up to very much capacity and just blast Thor. Um... So he can definitely take a hit from Thor's hammer. He can also dodge one of the Infinity Stones, as you see in Infinity War. Um, I'll probably put up some pictures. Uh, but in Infinity War, he dodges, I believe it was the Power Stone, um, with his shield on it. And it was just unbelievable. Um, he's also made, um, he's also made Thanos bleed, which, don't think that Iron Man is so weak just because he can uh, take Thanos to a drop of blood. Because Thor is pow more powerful than Iron Man, um, mainly because of Stormbreaker. Um, but I, do I think Iron Man would be able to like dodge Stormbreaker by just flying away. Uh, but I do think that Thor is like way more powerful than Iron Man. Um, but he can still take a hit from Mirgard, um, and also be hit by Mirgard and struck by Mirgard, dodge an Infinity Stone, um, and think about it that Thanos, even if he only had a drop of blood, he is a Titan, and he did have the Infinity Gauntlet, so he's very powerful against Iron Man himself, but as you saw all these new gadgets, he had the Bashers, um, he had... Um, this new, like, boost thruster when he got to the infinity, um, circle or the spaceship. He also had a new blade. Um, but I think Iron Man's suit isn't so powerful. Um, it can easily be broken by Thanos. Uh, but it is meant to fight gods. I think it's just really, really powerful. And you're introduced with new things all the time. Uh, but there is some things on Iron Man's suit that are very, very weak. Uh, but I think Iron Man could potentially just uh, kill Batman with ease. Um, because Batman's martial arts is not going to help when Iron Man is always with his suit and can easily just fly away um, or something like that and then just bash him. I think with just one gadget, Iron Man could probably take Batman right down. Um, but as far as I can say, I think Iron Man would win. 
because he's just a lot more powerful and can take that much of damage. He can take so much damage. Sure, Batman can take bullets and stuff like that, but I don't think he can mass um, someone who can fly and is not meant for, like, combat fighting and can just easily uh, bash Batman down. Um, I think that Iron Man would win uh, because he's just... He's not meant for combat, and that's potentially what Batman is. Even though he can fly, which he isn't really flying, um, I just don't think he can really match against Iron Man, considering he could take way more powerful things um, past the movies. Um, so I think Iron Man would win. Who, what do you guys think? Uh, I might do some more Marvel um, or DC clashes in the future. Uh, so what do you guys think? Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed and some new videos will be coming in the future. Hopefully some Fallout 4 builds. Maybe I'll do like Tempines Bluff or something in the future. Um, so hopefully you guys enjoyed and like and subscribe guys and I will see you next time.